Okay, I'm gonna give you my best attempt to explain what's supposed to happen in Cobra or Up Dog. So, first, try this exercise so that you can feel your mid-back muscles. So the problem is most of us don't have very much awareness or hardly any muscles built in our mid-back, so it's really, really hard to use them, especially when we're in these funky poses. So, just like you're going to do a bridge pose, Set up just like so. So uh, heels line up right underneath your knees and then find what I call robot arms. Press down into the corners of your elbow and into the back of your head. So your chin lifts, your chest starts to lift and then your ribs start to lift. So you wanna create this tunnel underneath the middle of your spine and then press down into your elbows in the back of your head. Inhale to lift up to bridge. And then exhale. Lower just your butt down. So if I lift my arm, this is what it looks like. It's hard to have my arm there, but you're lowering just your butt, keeping that tunnel. And then inhaling to lift just your butt. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And as you lower your butt, think of lifting your ribs even higher. So you're making that tunnel under your mid back even bigger. So do about 10 of those, and you'll start to feel, especially as you're lowering your butt down, your mid back. So that's what you want to feel when you're doing your cobra or your up dog. So if you lay on your belly, start like this. So press the shoelace side of your feet down so much. So think of spreading your toes and pressing your toenails into the ground. Press down so much that your kneecaps lift. Then press your kneecaps down so much that your butt lifts. Then tuck your tailbone down toward your heels. So you get this tone in your belly. So you feel right, then your belly engage. You wanna keep that. Squeeze shoulder blades towards your spine, shoulders down away from your ears, and inhale to lift. So you only wanna lift as high as you can, keeping that tone through your belly, shoulders down away from your ears. So if you wanna go higher, now it has to come from your mid and upper back. So keep that tone in your belly from your mid and upper back, start to lift and open. So it's a, sh it's a, I was gonna say it's a shit ton different it, than if you just go like this. I am 100% in my low back right now. Mid and upper back have very, very, very little happening. So you wanna keep going through your belly. Mid and upper back is where that back bend comes from. And you don't need to do this. Lots of people do this. Just your neck, just cranking your neck. So, um, yeah, only go as high as you can and then mid and upper back kick in. So tons different than doing this, even this, I'm still in my low back. So it's hard to describe on a video. It's a lot better to work with somebody in person, but that's my best explanation.